Well, there's one. Okay, so in our knot tying series, I'm gonna share with you guys a knot that uh, is, is a pretty valuable one to know. If you're a beginner, you probably don't need to know this one, but as you progress, this is definitely a good knot to know and have in your arsenal. A good effective little knot that takes a lot of practice. That's what it is, that's your loop knot. As you can see, it's just a, a small loop up at the front of your bait instead of a split ring so you're able to tie and that allows your knot, your line to swing freely just like so. So you could put a split ring or a snap on here, but a lot of times if you put a snap or a split ring on here, it weights the nose down too much and uh, can mess up the action of your bait. So uh, a loop knot is very, very effective. It's not real complicated to tie, it just takes a little bit of practice. So. so here it is, here's the loop knot. I've got my nice colorful braid here and I've got my topwater bait. This is primarily where I would use this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my braid and I'm gonna tie one overhand knot and I'm not gonna cinch it all the way down. I'm gonna make it, uh, I don't know, about the same size, maybe twice the size of uh, the uh, line tie of the hook. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run that through, like I'm gonna tie it on my bait and I'm gonna bring that, that little loop and hit. The trick is it's not pulling this not tight, because if it cinches down, you gotta start over. So I've got that right up against there, like so. And I'm gonna pinch those, I'm gonna pinch my, my little loop I made and the nose of my bait. And what I'm gonna do is simply three wraps. One, two, three. And it doesn't matter if you go over or under. But now what we've created, this is the tricky part. As you can see, we've created essentially We've created a little loop and the big loop from where I wrapped the line. And what the big trick is now is to run my tag end through, you want this loop on the inside, I'm gonna run it through my little, my little loop and the big loop at the same time. So now the trick is, is you get those down like so, and you're gonna pull this tight. I like to use my teeth. Cinch that down. I'm still holding everything. Cinch that down. And we've created the loop knot. And now it's important to hold all that stuff together so the, the loop knot isn't too big. The, if I don't hold it close together, the loop gets too big and you don't want it that big. I mean, that, that's plenty big for the bait to swing properly and, and get optimal performance out of your bait. It's, uh, Great way for uh, when you're want, wanting, wanting a bait to move freely, you don't want to tie it right up against the nose like that. What that does, it gives your baits a lot better action. So uh, if your knot's right up against there, it just it, this bait won't walk side to side as much as if it has this loop knot on there. So there's the loop knot, a good effective little knot that takes a lot of practice. We're ready to fish the loop knot. <laughs> 